Hey everybody, so this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about and recently I saw this post by Dave Johnson and he talked about like uh, BIM experts or people that have BIM experts in their LinkedIn kind of uh, only talking about Revit and not necessarily BIM and then also recruiters hiring for BIM people but really they just need BIM tech or like Revit techs or like Revit troubleshooters rather than actual BIM professionals and this is a, I think, an important topic, and I, from what I've seen out there um, over just the last few years, and what I've seen on LinkedIn, there's a mix of unicorns and like positions that are, I categorize them as like troubleshooters, but essentially they're just Revit techs. So they're positions where you operate as just a uh, like a like a drafter or modeler and you're not necessarily doing anything with BIM, but since that's the buzzword, that's what uh, is in the title. And I see that the unicorns come from like design, like technology teams. So sometimes they will create these positions with all of these different uh, required skills that, you know, th th that come from positions or come from people that are in positions of of technology or like their technology leaders and so they take all these things that they've heard and that they're trying to use and then put it all into one position and then the troubleshooters and like the 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 revit techs i'll see kind of come from the engineering teams the architecture teams the, the design teams people that aren't is closely tied with the technology so they don't sometimes fully understand uh, kind of what BIM is and what comes with that. And so to talk a little bit about like the unicorn descriptions, this is like a rough description I've just thrown together. This isn't from like a specific firm or anything, but this is sometimes what I've seen. And like I mentioned, this is this sometimes comes from like companies that this may come from a team that's more technology savvy and they put all these things together and this would be super cool and they're kind of doing it to toss like a wide net in hopes that somebody will apply with just a fraction of these skills but it unfortunately like this may turn a lot of people away that even that could be wonderful fits that could be that could bring a ton of value that could do a lot but because they don't fit the skills um, every skill here they may go a different direction so it I think also this kind of at least for me tells like when I see this it kind of indicates to me that there isn't a direction or they don't really know what they're trying to do and they just throw all this together in hopes to get somebody and then eventually they will fit them in the right spot doing the thing that they need them to do and so that's another kind of just issue that they not may not see and then for people that are applying for positions like this just need to be aware of because um, that could be a red flag it's always worth a conversation about what exactly are they looking for are they wanting somebody to be a drafter a uh um, a, a person developing plugins and doing stuff in Dynamo and then managing um, ISO standards like that's a huge mix and that actually brings me up to the next point which is job titles and what I so this list here is just 12 different positions I kind of roughly threw these together to show like all of those skills we just saw could could transition into 12 different positions so we can pick and choose and kind of put those into 12 positions and so are we hiring one person to do all 12 or are we looking for uh, something more specific are we actually wanting a cad tech and that's where this conversation i think is important because firms that are trying to do um, you know interesting things or, or, or trying to like this is what we need to do to be successful then you'll be more successful if you're if you truly understand what it is that you're looking for when you hire uh, people and so this isn't like something I see always uh, but it's just something to keep in mind when you're hiring somebody is that 
like what is it that we actually need and then from a like position of you know if you're looking for a job that's where you know you have a certain set of skills and then looking for positions that kind of fit that you know and, and you're seeing all of these jobs or you're seeing the unicorn ones that's where a conversation is really important are you actually looking for a BIM data analyst are you looking for a QC person an IT specialist and so on so but and let me go back actually but this is just really fascinating to me because you'll see positions like that where it, it could be these 12 different positions and in a lot of positions it's somewhat dynamic and you might fit within certain um, you know a certain category over over time you might position yourself to be more of a BIM coordinator or a QC person or something or more on the data side of BIM but uh, it is it is interesting I think we can have a better conversation and that kind of comes with education and time clients are still learning you know owners are still learning on what this stuff is and I think if we talk about it more we'll get there over time so this is the other part so this is like the troubleshooters and stuff I don't have it mentioned here but a lot of times probably the majority I see stuff like this oops so this BIM drafter uh, role or like a BIM tech a BIM coordinator a BIM lead there's probably some others I can't think of where the title like in the title there's BIM but in reality they're they're just doing CAD drafting or they're just the Revit tech I see that all the time where essentially this BIM person is, you know, and, and actually this causes confusion, confusion as well because everybody then kind of, uh, they put BIM into this bucket that is like anything Revit. So anytime there's a Revit issue or like a Dynamo thing, that's a BIM thing. And it's like, whoa, 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 that's not a BIM thing. And BIM thing is, is everybody's thing. Like we all need to think about it. And Revit is just a tool within that process. And so if, if that person, that BIM tech, is only focused on Revit and using that tool, then they're probably better categorized as a Revit technician. Um, they're mo you know, managing models, managing, maybe it's a model manager. Um, and that could maybe be like a BIM, uh, BIM manager or like a BIM model manager or something. I don't know. But that's where these conversations I think are important what are we actually after and do we actually understand what BIM is and what that word means before we put it in the title because like it, it just seems fair to want to make sure you understand that because when you hire somebody and they're under the expectation that BIM is this you know all of these things in reality they're just a CAD drafter and let me say that in a different way they're not like nothing's wrong with being a CAD drafter but if you're under this other idea that you're going to be doing these BIM things then being coming in and doing drafting may not line up very well and could you know turn out where you're unhappy the person that hired you unha is unhappy and it's just a big big mix up so that's where I think just understanding this stuff is a little bit better. And that, again, comes with uh, education from the owner side, from the uh, recruiters, from the people hiring. You know, what does BIM mean? And what does that word mean when we're hiring people? So I'd like to see in the industry that we have more positions like CAD drafter, Revit technician, you know, a model manager, uh, probably not BIM drafter because I don't even know really what that means. I put that here as an example of something I've seen out there, uh, but that's something I wouldn't want to see continue. And then like a Revit modeler, like if you're doing Revit modeling but not so much focus on the information and the data, then maybe you're not a BIM, you know, a BIM person. And all of these positions are great, but I think it, if we can have more transparency on what are we actually looking for and lining up the right roles in that position, it could be really, uh, I think, helpful for everybody involved. And 
and really for a firm that's hiring somebody position them in a better spot because now there's like if you're thinking that to that level then you're more i think you you've got a, a better plan than somebody hiring bim without really understanding what bim is so if you understand we're looking for a revit tech because of these things then that positions you much better um, i think and then you know you might have a separate position for bim management and stuff like that well anyways that's kind of all i've got i this is an important topic people still need to you know people will continue to get better at these things and what this stuff looks like and then um yeah and so anyways i'd love to hear your feedback on this stuff and let me know in the comments below but if you want to check this out this is the discord channel there's a link below if you want to uh, join the uh, discord server and so it's free and there's just some cool channels in there that you can post questions and all sorts of things but anyway thanks a lot for for watching and i will see you in the next one